Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Jason here, and this is a game called Lens Island. It's an early access. It's a really fun, soothing game. I thought you guys would be in really interested in it, so I've only played it for probably about a half hour or so. But I'm getting a real good feel for it, and I like it. So it is a survival game. Just came out, but it's really light on survival. You, you are stuck on an island. You're on Lens Island. And you're just trying to survive. You're building houses, whatever you want to do. You're collecting materials. You're building stuff. You're uh, collecting food. You really only have to eat food. You don't have to worry about your water meter. But let's jump in and I'll show you that. So let's go to play game. And this is only on Steam or on PC, by the way. As far as I know, it's only on PC. You can't get it on Xbox or on PlayStation yet. We're going to create a new world. We're going to call this one... Jason's world. Oh, no. Can't use that. Jason's world. And create a new game. And then we have a character creator. Now, well, number one, it tells you how do you want to con control your uh, your character. You can use the keyboard or you can just use the mouse. You still need to use the keyboard, but the mouse controls movement. They recommend that. I've been playing with that. That's pretty cool. What really excites me is the controller coming soon. I love that. So they will have controller support soon. Again, this is early access, so it's going to be updated. I don't know how frequently, especially over the holidays, but next year, definitely going to get upgraded. And then you can choose where you're from. I don't know what this plays into, but maybe, you know, I don't know what it is. So let's go to Jero. I don't know what it does, like, for the game itself. No idea. You can be masculine or feminine. We're going to be masculine. Does Lynn wear shoes? No or definitely not. <laughs> I love that. We're going to say definitely not. And then you can kind of go through some hairstyles. You get a, you know, a generic uh, a character creator. It's not really in depth. It's not like a massive thing. So whatever you want to do with it, you know, it's not that big of a deal. You can kind of, you know, choose your clothing, that kind of stuff. We'll do um, my undershirt. We'll make that a blue one. Or you can make different colors. Pants. So just basic. Just basic stuff. We're going to have shorts. Because, of course, we're going to have shorts. So, all right. Let's start the game. Now, as far as I know, you always start on the same area. And you it is not procedurally generated. This island is hand generated which means that everything is going to be the same every single time. And so if you know where stuff is, you're going to be able to find it really easy. Now, over on the left-hand corner, you see that we have our three different weapons, and then we have a fourth slot. That's where your food goes when you collect food. But you have your three different weapons, and you can upgrade them. As you can see, we have a Bowie knife. That is for harvesting stuff. You have your hatchet, which is for chopping wood. And then you have your pickaxe which is for rock, of course. And you can upgrade all three of these things, but you can only have three of them in the hotbar. If you want to look into your inventory, you press tab. It goes into your inventory. And the best part about this is it's not based on your weight. Like if I pick up a whole bunch of wood and fill up my inventory, it's still okay because it's not based on your weight. You're allowed to carry, you see that it says wood, zero out of 150. Each material has a limited number that you can carry, not a limited weight. So this guy could walk around with a ton of stone, 150 stone, 150 limestone, 150 coal. So you're limited by the uh, number, not by the weight. And you can increase your backpack later on. Once you start upgrading stuff, you can increase the number of items you can hold of each one. Let's come over here to these blueberries. Let's chop this thing down. There you go. So there's blueberries you can grab. And notice how now, oh, let me put my, my menu away. Notice how now I have two blueberries in there. And then you have your green health bar and your yellow hunger bar. That is it. Now I've noticed that once your hunger goes down to zero, you start to lose health. But you don't lose health until you get hungry. So as long as you're maintaining, you're good. And I mean, look at that. It's not really that hard. We eat one. Let's eat a blueberry real quick. 100% now. Now we're back up to 100% with one blueberry. So... It is not too, it's not extreme survival. Like, oh man, this is really, really hard. Time each attack to trigger a critical hit for more damage whenever you're uh, chopping things down. 
So you could just deal regular damage, which is plus six on this axe, you know, on the hatchet. But if you notice that in the middle of your swing, you'll get a little uh, white circle around your uh, item. If you click right at that moment, it'll actually fire off for critical and you'll do even more damage to the a tree. So let me show you. Let's go to my hatchet. All right, we got my hatchet out. Normal damage, six. And if I just click on it, it'll do six every time. But if I click on it right when there's a circle, let me show you. Now I'm doing nine. You gotta click on it right when you get that circle. That way you can get kind of a pattern going. And you go collect your uh, wood. There you go. And that is what you're basically doing. You're just kind of collecting resources. You can get this with the hatchet if you want to, but you see how it does three for the hatchet. But if I switch over to my knife, it does four. And I could do even more damage if I time it right. Every uh, weapon has a different timing aspect to it. So that's very, very cool. And then we have our pickaxe as well. Let's switch over to our pickaxe. And I love the fact that when you hover over an item, it says, hey, pickaxe, it shows you a pickaxe. You go over to a tree, it says, oh, there's your hatchet. You have to use your hatchet there. It kind of shows you what you need to use. The very, very simplistic, very, very easy survival game. I like it. It's not really, you know, it's not like, oh, it's super hard. It's not like the Dark Souls of, uh, of survival games. I love it. It is so much fun. There we go. And collect our stuff. Let's get over here. And I am using the left... Uh, I use left mouse button to hit. And then the right mouse button is to go around. You see how it's going around like this? It depends on whatever your control scheme is. If you choose the WASD, you use that for it. But I like the, the mouse controls better. Once I get a controller, that'll be the best. And then see, they give you this little hut to begin with right here. And let's see. Oh, it says hatchet on that. Let's pick our hatchet. I always want to choose it from the menu. I could just hit the number or scroll if I wanted to. Let's get that up. Oh, I didn't mess it up. There we go. And we got all the materials for that. We got a whole bunch of stuff. And then there's a, there's a note right here. We followed the orders. The bridges have been destroyed and the second cave entrance demolished. We will be heading back early in the morning. That is important because there's a lot of different stuff. Let me show you. You can explore. You can actually build. The, you know what? Let me show you the uh, build menu first real quick. If you go to tab, you can go inside of your traveler backpack right here. And if you go over here to the hammer, it'll show you all the building things you can do. Or you go to the pencil. Now we're in a build menu. And if we go, we can, we can pick on that and we can say, hey... Let's, let's upgrade it to a stone doorway, or we can upgrade it, we can reinforce it, or we can just get rid of it. So you can just de delete it, all that kind of stuff if you want to, or... No, 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 we want to build it even more. You go to your uh, foundation. It shows you right there, oh, I need wood, I need limestone, which is that yellow stone, and I need regular stone. So I need limestone and regular stone in order to build this. I can build a wall if I wanted to, because I have ten wood. And if you choose it, you could kind of lock it in. And it shows you, okay, there is one right there. But hey, you know what? I don't want to do it right there. Let's uh, re rotate it. So that's what the inside of the wall looks like. That's what the outside. And you can kind of rotate back and forth. There you go. And you can do that for everything. It's like, no, no, I actually don't want that. So never mind. We're going to cancel out of there. And we can go collect a whole bunch more wood. We can get a whole bunch of stuff. And the way to get glass, because I was looking how to do that. You can get uh, limestone and you can refine it. But... Because we're really early on, you really can't refine anything yet. So here's some limestone right here. Let's get our pickaxe out. We can chop this down. Oh, come on. Get it. Get it. Come on. This thing's take the stones take forever. I've noticed that. Okay. Boom. We're good. Got our limestone, and again, we can carry as much as our backpack will hold, but it's not weight, it's number. So out of 150, boom. You can get up to, we have 24 out of 150, so we can keep going. But if you're looking for glass to make a window, right here, you see this right here? This is a bottle. You pick it up and it instantly converts it into glass. So now I have two 
glass shards right there. And I can make windows out of that. So just, just a heads up for everyone trying it. Go get some bottles. You can find bottles along the beach. So you just run around on the beach. You'll see bottles here and there. You'll also run into uh, barrels. Let me see if I can get a barrel. Oh, there's a bridge right there. Let's, we can, sh I can show you the bridge as well. So this is a huge area because you start out on the same. The map is always the same, but you have different things like this right here. We can, ref we can finish this bridge, but we need 80 wood and 20 fiber in order to fix it. So let's get the wood real quick. We're getting some fiber as well. Fiber comes from the little bushes. Wood comes from trees, of course. And you get different stone depending on which thing you do. Now keep in mind which uh, rock you hit. But keep in mind, the trees will always fall away from you because they do do damage. So if you run after you chop a tree down, it will actually damage you if you're in the way of it. Let me see. Let me show you that. Oh, I wasn't in the way. I wasn't in the way. Dang it. Oh, well, but you can get in the way, and you can take some damage. So you don't want to do that. Let me get some more fibers real quick. Give me that. Getting some uh, plants and flowers as well as the fiber. I like it. I should be able to now, right? Yep, yep. Repair it. So now we're repairing some of the bridges so we can get access to another island. Oh, we need to fix this one too. 80 and 20 again. So now we know, okay, we get, we have to fix these bridges to reach another island. Now you can swim, but not very far. So I wouldn't try swimming over there. And again, there's like sheer cliffs on the other side. So it's not really going to help you to swim over there. So I'd just say go around, collect your materials, build... You can build a, a cool little uh, a base of operations if you want to. And the other thing is, all the plants will regenerate. They will come back unless you put a foundation over them. Once you put a foundation over them, they are gone forever. Well, until you get rid of the foundation, as far as I know. So, if you, like, if you want to build a base of operations right here, say, hey, look, this is where I'm going to build my house. All you have to do is put some of the, uh, put some foundations over this, and you're good. And it'll never, these trees will not grow back until you get rid of the foundation again. Oh, bees! Oh, God! Run! Not, not that hard. Okay. But yeah, you see there's a stump there? That means that tree will come back eventually. But, if I go to my build menu, and I put a foundation right here, and I can rotate it if I want to. See, there's a, it locks in every 90 degrees, but that's okay. We'll put a foundation right there. There you go. I could put another one here if I wanted to, and I could rotate it. That way the, uh, it all lines up if I wanted to. Oh, I still don't, I don't have enough uh, materials. That's why it's red. I don't have enough materials. I'm using up all my stuff. It takes a lot of materials, so you gotta go around and farm a ton. And I love the fact that you can have your window open. Like, you see I have my inventory open, while I'm doing all this stuff. That way I can see what I have, and I don't have to worry about, oh, I don't. I need more of this or that. I can kind of check it as I'm going. So there you go. It always falls away from you. Boom. So it's a very, very calm, relaxing game. I love it. Let's see. We can make another foundation real quick right there. And then we can make a wall. Let's make a windowed wall. Let's click on that. There you go, and I can rotate it again. That's the outside, that's the inside, and you can rotate this camera as well, if you want to. It's kind of locked in a little bit, but you can kind of move the camera around to get a better view of whatever you're building. It's really good. I mean, this is early access and it's kicking butt. So there's my, my windowed wall. Oh, but I don't have enough glass to make another one. I need to start picking up more bottles, but I should be able to just make a regular wall, right? Yep, right there. Oh, I need more wood. I need to chop down a lot more wood and stuff like that, but okay. That's all right. So there you go. And you can jump if you wanted to. And there's also combat. I've heard, I have not seen it, but I've heard that they have a cave that has enemies in it as you run into later on. So there's a lot of 
content here? Is it like a full-fledged, like, triple-A game? No, it's early access. But this game is very, very soothing. Relaxing. Oh, God, bees! Get out of there. It's very, very soothing and relaxing. And just kind of calm. You know, there's not a lot of sound effects. You know, you chop wood. There's some birds chirping in the background. It has a day-night cycle. I don't know. Oh, God. It's not going to work out. Oh, no. All my wood's down there. Let's see if I can get it. As you can see, you can swim. But again, you won't be able to climb up over here because there's sheer cliffs on the side of it. So, I mean, that's why they make you uh, build a bridge because there's no way to get in there. Even though you can swim, you really can't get over there. So... But I am on the outside. Oh, no! And I can't really change the camera view from this uh, isometric perspective. Only when you're building, not when you're uh, not when you're running around. Oh, yeah, I probably need this. Oh, there's a barrel. You find these random barrels all over the place, and you need a knife for that, so that's easy. Oh, not that one. Over here. There you go. And you'll find random pieces, like, they give you those little gears, salvage m metal in there. You use that to build other things. You need all this stuff to build a lot of, like, random items for your base of operations, wherever you decide to make that. Oh, there's a bottle over here, and what is that pink thing right there? Let's check this out. Nothing. Okay. We did get a bottle, so we got some glass. Let's get some of this. This is uh, clay, I believe. What is that? Yep, clay. So you need clay to build different uh, building pieces. You can make a bed to sleep at night. I think we're. I think we got pretty much everything, right? I'm pretty sure. Let's check. Oh come on, we got it. All right, boom. We're gonna need some more wood, of course. But actually, let's get some uh, berries. And you see, I'm trying to chop down a wood with my knife. It's not gonna work. Not gonna work. You need the the right tool for the right job. All right, we're in here. Let's actually see if we can make a bed. So we have different furniture and stuff like that. You make a, a wood frame for a farm. You make a well to water your plants. If there's a bed right here. Eh, we'll put it right there. So now we have a bed. And we can sleep in it. We can also save our progress as well and sleep in it. That way you could always load it on your bed, just like a lot of other uh, survival... Uh, games. Let's go to sleep. Boom! And it saves automatically. Boom. There you go. Saving right there at the bottom right hand. There we go. So this game is so chill and relaxing. It's very, very farmy. I mean, you're literally just going around collecting materials. But if you like that, if you're a big survival, uh, survival crafting kind of game person, this is an amazing... I love it. It's so chill and nice and relaxed. You're not worried about dying every five minutes because enemies are attacking you or anything like that. There are enemies in the game, but they're very, very deep in the game, and they make sure that you kind of know what's going on before they throw a whole bunch of enemies at you. So I'm digging it. I love it. This game is really, really relaxing, soothing, calming. I like it. I like it a lot. So hopefully you guys are interested in it. If you want to see more, Hit that like button. Maybe we'll do a series on this and kind of just explore. As far as I know, it's only single player for now because it's in early access. So they don't have a lot going on. You know, they're still adding more th to it. But the game is in really good shape from the get-go. I like it. It's very interesting to me. And hopefully you guys do too. And I'll see you guys next time.